Carolyn here from the Purple Poncho. I'm going to be demonstrating how to make the corner to corner stitch. Here's a little swatch that I've made. So let's begin. You're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're going to count back to the fourth chain. One, two, three, four and we're going to place a double crochet there and in the next two stitches. And now we've made one cluster which consists of a chain three loop on the end and three double crochets and that's row one. Now for row two we're going to chain six one, two, three, four, five, six going into the fourth chain one two three four or you can count up three one two three whichever way is more comfortable and we're going to do one double crochet and then another double crochet in the next stitch and another double crochet in the next stitch and that's another cluster so now you're wondering where where do I go now and what you do is you turn your work or flip it or twist it however you want to comprehend that and then your hook will just automatically fall right into that chain 3 space and you're going to do a slip stitch and then chain 3 one two three and do three more double crochets in the same space that's two and three and that's row two let's go to row three we're going to chain six one two three four five six go into that fourth chain put a double crochet another double crochet in the next stitch and again in the last stitch double crochet and you're going to turn your work and slip stitch into that chain three and we're going to do three double crochet we're going to chain three first and now do three double crochet in the same space one two three slip stitch into the next chain three space chain three one two three three double crochets in the same space two and three gonna double crochet another double crochet and your third double crochet I'm going to turn your work slip stitch and continue this row across same as before when you get to the end of the row I will show you how to decrease now that you've completed this row I will show you how to decrease what we do is chain three one two three turn your work and slip stitch in that chain three space and now we're going to do another cluster in that chain three space. So we're going to chain three, three double crochets, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch in that chain three space. Do another cluster. We're going to chain three, three double crochets in the same space, two, three, slip stitch in the next chain chain three space now we're going to chain three one two three three double crochets two three and now we're going to slip stitch in that next chain three space and then we're going to chain three one two three and then we're going to turn and slip stitch into that chain three space on your left and you're starting to decrease 
So let's do the next row. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Three double crochets. In the same space. Slip stitch in the next chain three space. Chain three. Three double crochet. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the next chain three space. Chain three, turn, and now we have one cluster left. Chain three, three double crochets in the same space. Two, three, slip stitch in the next chain three space. Chain three, turn, and slip stitch into that last chain three space. And now this is where you started and you went uh, increasing up through here and then started your decrease right there. So the beginning and the end. Next I will show you how to change colors. We're at the end of our row we're going to chain three, turn, and at this point we're going to add a new color. So I already have a slip knot on my yarn. Put that on your hook. Pull that through. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to tighten that last turquoise loop down a little bit and I'm going to crochet over my tail of the purple and then we're going to continue with the same pattern sequence so I have my chain three and I'm going to do three double crochet one two three slip stitch in the next space Chain three, three double crochet, slip stitch in the next space. And that's how it'll look. And you keep going. And then you can tie this off, make it secure so it doesn't come undone. And that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please follow me at thepurpleponcho.com. Thank you for crocheting with me today. Have a great day.